Hey everybody, happy Earth Day, Earth Day, Earth Day. So we th I thought since it's Earth Day, I wanted to share with you an art lesson about Earth art, I'm doing some Earth art. And that involves one of my favorite artists, Andy Goldsworthy. So my boys and I were sitting here looking through his book that I have, one of them. There are many of them. Um, also, there's some a couple of videos out there too. Um, Rivers and Tides is one of the ones I like to watch of him doing his work. I'm just going to page through quickly some of his stuff. Um, Andy um, likes to do uh, earth art where he really brings your focus to a central point or an emphasis um, of his work. He uses 100% all natural um, things in his earth, art. So. Even though it looks really black, it's just something he's found that is just really dark. Could be a dead leaf, could be a different type of soil or dirt. Um, but he tries to kind of, it almost like as a fool the mind type of thing where he tries to make you question, how did that happen there? Who made those things? Maybe how was that made? Um, question maybe what kind of, how did he do that, what materials. So he really does have a lot of central focal point that he brings your focus to. Um, the emphasis maybe, if you call that. Um, he uses, again, all natural things. This is pieced together with leaves, but yet it's all pieced together with thorns and leaves. Now, we don't have any snow right now because it's Illinois and, uh, we're getting past that season. We're finally in spring here. So, um, my boys and I are gonna go out and work on some uh, some earth art today. Hopefully we'll get out before it rains. But again, he's a pretty cool artist. He really I'm uses moving. the landscape and considers the land and uses the, everything he, uses is from the land around him. He's using the reflection in a pond here. Again, he also has a few, um, some few movies out. The one I like is Rivers and Tides, and I know he's got a couple others since then. Um, and there's many more books of his artwork out, for sure. And I'm sure if you just Googled Andy Goldsworthy, you would come up with tons of stuff. He's an amazing earth artist. Again, one of my favorite. He can work on a large, large scale or a small scale. And so what we're gonna do, inspired by our artist here, Andy Goldsworthy, is we're gonna go out and see if we can make our own earth art, finding natural materials in the world and piecing them together to create a focal point or emphasis that draws your attention to a certain point of that art. So we're gonna head out here and go make some earth art. Hey, so we live in the country, so we have a, a, quite a bit to choose from here. Our magnolia tree is blooming, so we could probably use some of those petals. And my boys right now are laying on the on the drive because it started to sprinkle a little. So we thought we'd see if we could make some uh, some patterns with our bodies here on the pavement, but it's not sprinkling hard enough. I don't think it's going to work. 